you can face plenty of online threats when you surf the web, and those threats don't hide solely on malicious websites. You could accidentally infect your computer with malicious software even when visiting the most legitimate of sites if you're not careful. The reason is because of malicious advertising attack. Today in this video we will talk about everything you need to know about malicious advertising attack. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have question let us to know in the comments. What is malvertising or malicious advertising attack? Malicious advertising is a relatively new cyber attack technique that injects malicious code within digital ads. Difficult to detect by both internet users and publishers, these infected ads are usually served to consumers through legitimate advertising networks. Because ads are displayed to all website visitors, virtually every page viewer is at risk of infection. What are the risks of malvertising? Malvertising campaigns and malicious ads can pose risks to your personal information. Here are the most worrisome risks. Hackers might nab your financial information. Malvertising is designed to trick you into disclosing your personal information, especially your financial information. If hackers gain access to your bank account number or bank password, they could drain your account without you even knowing it. Thieves might run up your credit card debt. If hackers manage to steal your credit card information, they can use your card to make purchases for themselves. You can dispute these charges, but you need to be aware of them first. And if you don't check your credit card statement regularly, you may accidentally pay for items you didn't actually buy. Your computer might get infected. Malvertising can also install viruses and other malicious software on your computer. You might not even know that this malware is there, but hackers might use it to track your keystrokes, steal your passwords or take over your computer. Examples of Malvertising Malvertising comes in all shapes and sizes but all forms can pose risks to your sensitive information. Here are some common malvertising examples. Malware the other major malvertising type is more aggressive and can quickly infect your computer. This version of the malware floods legitimate websites with infected banners or boxed ads. Clicking on such ads may install spyware, viruses, trojans or other types of malwares on your computer. This type of malware can be especially dangerous because it often runs in the background, stealing your personal and financial information, tracking your keystrokes, and monitoring your emails without you noticing. Redirection When you click on a malware ad, you are often redirected to a fake website that looks legitimate but is actually set up to conduct a phishing attack, where criminals try to trick you into revealing personal information such as your social security number, credit card number or bank account details. These sites are designed to look like legitimate sites. Sometimes you don't have to click. You might think that because you never click on online ads, including pop-ups, you can avoid malicious ads. But here's the scary thing. Even if you swear you'll never click on an ad, you can't completely avoid malvertising. This is because once an infected page loads, a version of the malware known as a drive-by download can infect your computer with spyware or malware. You don't need to click anything to start the process. Three ways to avoid malvertising. Avoiding malvertising takes vigilance, but it's possible to defend against it. Here's how. The first is, invest in an antivirus program. The best way to protect yourself against malvertising is to install and run a reputable antivirus program on your computer. And once you install antivirus software, make sure to promptly approve any updates. Often, these updates are designed to protect your device against specific forms of malware, including malvertising. If you fall behind on updates, you could leave your computer vulnerable. The second is, turn on click to play for your browsers. All browsers allow you to select the click to play option. By selecting this, all online content that requires plugins to play, such as Java, Adobe Reader, QuickTime or Flash, will be disabled unless you manually give your OK for the content to play. If you want to help protect yourself from malvertising, be sure to enable the click to play selection in your browser's settings. This will protect you from drive-by download malvertising. How you access this option depends on your individual browser. The third is, install an ad blocker. 
you won't accidentally click on a malicious online ad if that ad doesn't show up on your screen. That's the theory behind ad blockers. If you install one, some cost money. Others are free, it will clear web pages of ads, which could help protect you against malvertising in the process. Be aware, though, that not all ad blockers stop all ads, and some websites might not run properly if an ad blocker is turned on. Fortunately, you can tell ad blockers to allow online ads from certain sites. Thanks for watching this article so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. If you have any questions or feedback then please drop a comment. And which is best for you, drop on the comment. Thank you for subscribing.